make something very clear. There's a difference between living and surviving. I repeat, there's a difference between living and surviving. And, and these hard workers are being forced to survive because of the low wages they often receive. able to spend them at CBS. Somebody who works at Target or CBS is able to spend their money at Home Depot. And then somebody who works at Home Depot is able to spend the money at Walmart. The point is, by raising wages to a living level, we are putting more money in the district's economy. Not only do we benefit from uh, tax revenue, as my great hero, Josh Williams, just said, but the corporations themselves benefit. I, the University of California, Berkeley, did a study in 2011 that demonstrated that if Walmart paid all of its workers at least $12 an hour and passed along the entire cost of the wage increase in increased prices, the average Walmart shopper would pay an additional $12.50 a year. <laughs> That's all. This is a no-brainer. And I urge everyone here to support the Large Retailer Accountability Act. Now they want to say about the Large Retailer Accountability Act of 2013. They want to say to us that if they pass it, it somehow delivers a chilling effect on business coming into Washington, D.C. My response, if this right now is a chilling effect, I would hate to see what hospitality looks like. Because everybody under the sun is coming into D.C. you got 50 to 60 construction cranes up in the air on any given day. They're talking about taking away height restrictions so that you can have high-rise luxury condos. They're talking about taking away the requirements for condo developers to supply even parking. And that tends to drive everybody else out of the neighborhood. I know churches that have been removed out of the neighborhood. And we all know individuals who've been removed out of the neighborhood because of the economic pressure that is allowed to be applied here in Washington, D.C. And here we are right now with a thousand families a month yeah. Moving into Washington, D.C., everybody's here, got their hand out, everybody here is making money except the people who live in Washington, D.C. Yeah.